Hey street team, welcome back to Danny TV where we bring what's going on in these streets to your TV. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Danielle. So make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe because y'all know we're about to go up. Today is going to be a Savannah's Hidden Gem. In my Savannah Hidden Gems video, I typically go and show like a few apartments, show the area. I haven't did a video like this in a little minute, so I decided to do that for this week. So make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm at the first apartments that I'm going to show y'all. These apartments are about two miles outside of the Savannah um, Historic District. So let's go in and see what they're offering. Hey y'all, just got done looking at Mariner Grove and I think these are some pretty nice apartments, especially to be like outside of the historic district. It's given like kind of the luxury apartment feel. Um, I personally liked how the leasing office has food trucks pulling up because baby like, I cannot live in an apartment that don't have a food truck pulling up. That's first off. Um, I liked how she said like the other day they stood outside and handed out breakfast to residents like i thought that that was really lit she showed me two different floor pan <laughs> i can't talk because of my aligner y'all she told me she oh my god she showed me two different floor plans like the aligners like make you talk with a freaking lisp like this is embarrassing anyway so one unit had the bathroom connected to the bedroom um, and I feel like that unit had a little bit more space. And then the other unit had the bathroom not connected to the bedroom. Of course, my camera is overheating because it is so hot. Um, but both units were nice and modern. I love the double sink in the bathroom. Like, that is definitely a vibe. So, the one bedrooms are going from $1,500 to $1,900. It's a little pricey. And personally, in my opinion, I feel like if we finna spend all that, baby, we need to be in Atlanta. We need to be in Houston. We need to be in Dallas, okay? Overall, I think it's a pretty nice apartment. Um, it's right outside of downtown Savannah. And it's definitely giving a luxury vibe. And every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Man, I swear that she can get it. Every second. I just got done eating and I went to the Savannah Tequila Company. It's off River Street and the Plant Riverside District. This is my favorite restaurant in Savannah. Like the Mexican food is authentic. That ground beef is seasoned. Like Big Mama is in the kitchen because the food is so far, the drinks, the atmosphere. Um, you can sit outside by the water. Like this is my favorite place to go in Savannah. If you're like a day one Danny TV sub, y'all already seen them because I didn't came here a few times like when I first moved to Savannah. I also tried to look at the Amstead apartments. Um, these apartments are very much given all luxury um, and it's gonna give you like that downtown city feel and very much luxury. I didn't actually get to see a unit because they didn't have anything available, 
but the amenities itself kind of sold me the pool was really nice and like they have units facing the pool and you can also see like the city from the apartment i showed y'all the clubhouse and the clubhouse is like great gatsby themed and then another part of like their lobby and leasing office when you first walk in it's modeled like a hotel to give you like a welcome and homey feel and it's fire i had said to the girl like hey I came to look at these and you told me these prices, these prices is a little crazy, but sis, I'm gonna have to come up here and shoot some content and take my pictures in y'all lobby. And she had like laughed, but it was like, sis, I'm dead serious because it's giving everything luxury. So a studio is going for $2,000 y'all and up and everything just pretty much goes up. That's not including utilities, but if you got it, you got it though. Hey street team, so I came up with a small list of pros and cons of Savannah. I've only been here for six months, so this is some things that I've learned since I've been here. Pros would be that Savannah is on the east coast, so they don't really experience winter the weather is always pretty much nice um, and warm and hot. Um, you're close to Atlanta. Atlanta's like right down the road, three hours away. You're close to North Carolina, South Carolina. You're close to Florida. I know Jacksonville, Florida is about two hours away. Orlando is about four hours. So you can easily take like some quick little day trips. Um, Savannah is a very historic place and when I say historic I mean it's like a lot of history here from being able to do like slavery tours or like railroad tours um, they have like ghost tours because Savannah is considered like super haunted I just learned that they have like ghost tours and you can like go to the cemetery you can like ride in a freaking hearse and go see a ghost tour like they have a lot going on savannah has a lot of rooftop bars so um if you like to experience like kind of like nightlife that's something that's like really a thing with savannah it's like a whole bunch of um rooftop bars let me look at like what else i said on my list because i had like compiled a list when i was in the car um yeah so pretty much i would say the main thing is like it's a historic place and this is like a place that people choose to come on their bachelor and bachelor ed trips we always get like a lot of tourists down here because it's a lot of things to do but you have to kind of find the things that you want to do and look it up and do like research as far as cons we get hurricanes tornadoes um one thing that I don't like about down here since I moved here is that it freaking rains like every other day or every day. And when it rains, it's not just like a soft, subtle rain. It's like a hard rain. My freaking apartment building got struck by lightning last week. Like it always is lightning, extremely hot here. Like this is a different type of heat. It's almost as hot as Florida. Like if y'all went to Florida and experienced Florida heat, like that's how hot it is here. It's very hot and humid. Like if you walk outside, you'll probably sweat if you're a sweaty person. And I'm not a sweaty person, but sometimes I walk outside and I'm like, ill. like, yeah. Um, they have like very much weird bugs here. Like the lack of hairstylists. Like if you're a person like me that likes to keep their hair done, they have very much a lack of hairstylists. Um, nothing like St. Louis, nothing like Atlanta. But if you like like a small town with like good weather, beaches and stuff like that, this probably would be the place for you. So yeah, um, that's all I got for y'all. This pretty much concludes my video. Um, make sure that you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And to the people that are watching my channel weekly, I want to say thank you to y'all. Like, y'all mean a lot to me. I don't even know y'all, but y'all mean a lot to me because y'all watching me and y'all are supporting me. And it really takes a lot to build a YouTube channel. Like, people don't realize, like, it takes a lot to plan the content, film, make sure it's something that people want to see and then to get people to watch it. So... I do want to say thank y'all. I love y'all. Y'all are very important people to me because y'all are really supporting me. And y'all don't even know me, but y'all are supporting me. And it means so much. So thank y'all. Um, 
it's only up from here so again make sure that you guys like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next thursday